Hello everyone, this is Jeff Patel, Flayer Mouse. We have a two inch ball of Silly Putty here. And Silly Putty is an inter interesting uh, material. Chances are you've owned it when you were a kid or maybe as, as an adult. And uh, it was kind of an accident that it was created. They were trying to come up with a synthetic rubber and it ended up with this unusual uh, non-Newtonian fluid. And some marketing de genius decided to make a really interesting toy. Well, we decided right. to weaponize Whenever it and shoot it out of a shotgun. Wow. Silly putty. And quite a few people have suggested that we shoot the silly putty with a rifle or a shotgun or something like that. Since we just have a, you know, about a three ounce piece here, we decided to scale it down and do some testing with that. See what it looks like when we shoot it with a pellet rifle. But when we drop a knife on it, it does some interesting st stuff. It kind of repels the knife and kind of bounces away like rubber and uh, here we shoot a pellet at it through a straw so it's under 100 feet per second but you can see that the pellet just bounces off leaving almost no mark at all so what will happen if we shoot it at 800 feet per second with this Winchester .177 caliber air rifle will it come bouncing back and hit us in the face but first as a comparison we're gonna shoot our trusted uh, potter, pottery clay. It's kind of our alternative to ballistic gel. A lot of people are always asking us, hey, shoot some with ballistic gel. And, and ballistic gel is really a pain in the butt to work with. You can ask TN Outdoors 9, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. So we wanted something simpler and reusable on the spot. And we found that clay is a, is a really neat target to shoot at. But you can see the pellets leave a big old cavitation in there and all the pellets penetrated this oh two two and a half three inch piece of uh, clay quite easily and you also notice I have a mirror set up there I'm trying some experimentation trying to uh, you know get some better shots you know just like this you know you can see the pellet coming out the back I can also use the mirror to redirect the sunlight behind the object so let's shoot the silly putty ball the two inch ball with the pellet rifle Now we saw some really different results with the silly putty than we did with the clay. Primarily the silly putty didn't create that big cavitation. Even though we were shooting um, Crossman hollow points at it, it just passed through and the hole sealed up almost immediately. Ejected a little bit of silly putty out the back, but it, it seemed to slow down the pellet a little bit more than the, uh, the clay did. And some of my test shots actually captured the pellet inside and the pellet didn't go all the way through but in these shots they they all went through now I've heard of researchers uh, using a non-Newtonian as some kind of a new body armor but I don't think uh, silly putty is the answer there so I hear what you're asking what would we if we shoot silly putty at the silly putty so I made these little BBs out of silly putty and shot it at it Let's see what that does. Did I miss? Looks like I missed, huh? Now even though the Silly Putty was going pretty fast, it had really no mass and it just uh, deflected and shattered for the most part off the, the other mass of Silly Putty. The bigger Silly Putty definitely won out here. But uh, anyway, it, it was an interesting experiment and I want to thank everyone who supplies me with these wonderful creative ideas.